Hi! Uh, hey everyone, Chris Agnes here, obviously. Uh, I'm going to be doing a live video. Try to give you guys a little bit of a heads up, but I know I didn't give a lot of the details as far as when this is actually going to go live. Just kind of uh, at the mercy of when my kids go to bed, uh, when everything settles down. So, I'm ready. I'm ready for you. Uh, just to give you a little bit of a backstory, what I did was... I'm going to shift this way. What I did was I saw a lot on... Facebook Marketplace that caught my eye. Uh, unfortunately, it was pretty far away from me. It was still in the same state, but just not a not really worth the drive. It was about from where I live, like 85 miles. So, uh, hey Mason, doing good. How are you, Retro Man? You oh, you're always catching these streams. I I appreciate it. That's awesome. Hello, cool as Robert Payne. Um, so as I was saying, I uh, I saw this lot on Facebook Marketplace, caught my eye. It's a little too far to drive out there. So in talking with the seller, she was totally cool with shipping it out to me. Um, and all I have to, this is going to be a little bit of a surprise because all I have to go on was kind of a, a few blurry pictures. So I kind of have an idea of some of the shapes and things that I'm going to be getting um, for toys. Uh, a lot of it's not going to be a surprise to you guys that watch my channel regularly as far as what type of toys I chase. Um, so hopefully you're not kind of um, sick of, of this specific toy line by now. But um, there should, I did eye some other, uh, there should be some variety is basically what I'm getting at. Maybe not a ton, but there should be some. So basically, like I said, it's just uh, some blurry pictures. And uh, so I really don't know what condition these things are in and what exactly is in the box. Plus, she said that she threw in some extra stuff. So uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> Drew, if that's what you're looking for, then you're, uh, you're in luck. So, uh, all right. So that's all I have to base it on. And she sent me this. Now this is probably the biggest package of uh, any Banana Man. Hello. This is probably the biggest package I've ever received in uh, in any kind of uh, you know non-retail purchase. It's in a Priority Mail USPS box, 12 by 12 by 8, and uh, this weighs a whopping 12.6 pounds. And Nerd Cave, yep, you're right. At 12.6 pounds, it's definitely that. Um, nobody else is going to see that comment out, <laughs> outside of the live feed. So the, whoever's watching this on replay will have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyways. Uh, Alright, so 12.6 pounds. This guy was a beast. Um, so let's just uh, let's get to it. Da -da -da. Be a little gentle in case this is packed right to the brim. Hey, uh, I think that was Silver Age Dave. Hello. Your message kind of disappeared. So hopefully I got gotcha. you. Alright, so we're starting off with a bunch of plastic bags. Hope it's not 12 pounds of plastic bags. But it's okay, because I paid with PayPal Goods and Services. So I'm covered, baby. Actually, I don't know if I am. They might just have to prove delivery. Anyways. Let's hope it's not that situation. So, <laughs> oh, look at all the fun we're having. All right, so we got through the top layer of crap. Let's we'll see where do these most of these bags come from. Price chopper. So the seller shops the price chopper, which I don't think. I don't know of any of those that exist near me. Let me know how you feel about Price Chopper in the comments below. Alright, so let's see. So the very first thing, not super exciting, but it's a Transformers Armada instruction booklet for Galvatron with the Clench Minicon. Uh, actually, it's, it's half. It looks like it's half of an instruction sheet, so this is already turning into a huge bust. Uh, I'm hoping for things that are a little older than Armada. Armada's not Armada's not really a line that I collect. Um, 
And again, what I saw in the pictures looked older, so I'm going to be a little disappointed if it's not, doesn't turn out to be that way. Uh, next, we got this random Lego piece. If anybody wants it, put it on my eBay store. Another layer of wrapping. And, alright, I have visuals. Let's, uh, let's pull out the first thing. Alright, first we got this guy. I don't know if it's going to be focused. Looks like it's staying focused on me, so... Kind of looks like a little little Lex Lutheran. I don't know if you guys can make it out kind of space, but he's not in great shape. He's definitely broken, whatever whatever is going on there. See if I can get the phone to focus on him. Nope, phone doesn't want to take his eyes off me. Who can bring you? Mr. Freeze, Toy Biz DC Superheroes. Awesome. Um, great. This is why I have you guys here, so you can fill in the voids in my, uh, in my toy knowledge, which is pretty vast, actually, despite my, my glaring success on YouTube. Alright, so we got a Mr. Freeze toy biz guy. Like I said, it looks like he's broken over here and probably missing his little, uh, diver's helmet. So, let's keep this party going. Uh, looks like another busted Transformer toy here. Uh, looks to be of the newer line. If I were to guess, I would say this is like a swindle kind of guy. He is missing his leg, it looks like. But it's one that, uh, it's not broken, so there is potential that it's actually in here somewhere, but... Again, not something I'm excited about, so hopefully it gets better after this. Throw it in that pile over there. Uh, let's see here. Alright. I'm going to grab something that might make some of you excited here. Since we're starting off so meh. Do you guys like G1? I do. Strong arm? Thank you. Thank you. Um, I like G1. Do you guys like dinosaurs? I do. Do you like robots? Do you like robots that turn into dinosaurs? How about the king of the dinosaurs? Grimlock, baby. Me, Grimlock, no like. I don't know. Stuff. That was terrible, terrible. I, I started off really strong with that impression, and then it just died. Me Grimlock no Lycra go fabulous. So, I knew that this was in this lot, so this is not a surprise to me. What is a surprise is that he's not broken, because in the picture, uh, it actually looks like his tail was kind of busted, but it was just split in transform mode here. So, that's pretty awesome. This, uh... Actually, it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Has some chrome wear on the tail. But uh, this might actually be an upgrade to the one I have already. So that is pretty sick. So right there, awesome, awesome. Exactly what I'm looking for. All right, so I'm gonna keep digging around here. Uh, you know what, I'm uh, trying not to be too picky. All right, I'm going to need help with this one. I have no idea. Oh, that's true. I do. My other... Uh, yeah. I'm not going to give away my first Grimlock. It's it's signed by... Uh, was it Greg Berger? The voice of Grimlock. Good call. Thanks. I almost threw away the, one of the better parts of my collection. Uh, all right. So, I, I'm just grabbing these random things. I don't know. What are they? Like salt and pepper shakers? They obviously go together. Um, on a rollerblade wheels. Ooh, inline skates, totally rad. Uh, there's a symbol here. I don't know if that means anything to anybody out there. Help me. Does anybody know? I don't. I have no idea. 
So maybe I'll jet engines from something. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Cool. So yeah, I don't know. That might end up being the part of something else that's in this box. But as we proceed to give you what you need. All right, now this is back to G1, but it's in parts. So let's see if I can put it back together. Hopefully I can, because it would be sad if it's actually broken. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Okay, I think I think it is broken, but nonetheless, here's the G1 Optimus trailer. How did you know? Wait a minute. Nerd Cave, I, <laughs> how did you predict that? Are you psychic? That was amazing. Unless this thing's delayed. How did you, wow. That was actually really impressive. Uh, it is a Prime trailer, which I'm pretty sure Nerd Cave predicted before I even showed it. Maybe just by the sound of it. Um, yeah, so there it is right there. You are awesome. Rubber tires. Let's see what it says here. Uh, Takara 8082, Japan, Hasbro 8082. It's got a T4 marking down here. I'm not an expert on, like, what the, uh, the markings mean. But <laughs> if you're in the market for broken stuff, I have six kids. I have two. Bye, Star Girl. Thanks for coming. Um, check out the rest later if you care. Um, so anyways, here's the inside of the trailer. The part that I think is broken that's not supposed to be is, uh, these come off pretty easily. So, um, I'll have to check mine, but I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some kind of, like, long pin or something that makes it so they actually stay together. But other than that, oh, no. Satellite's broken too. Meh, meh. Gosh. Gosh darn it. I'll never... I'll never get on top. Um, anyways, yeah, T4. I'm not sure what those markings mean. I know there's like so many different releases and variants of, uh, you know, Prime's trailers and things like that. There's a whole web page about it and videos. I've seen them before, but um, yeah, I'll hang on to that and see what what becomes of it down the road. Uh, let's see here. We got looks like. Uh, Star Wars, I would think, kind of like X-Fighter, Transformer guy, again, broken, or pieces missing in the box somewhere, somewhere in there, um, but yeah, you can see it's like a, an X-Wing, I think, not a expert Star Wars guy, but I think I know enough to get by, uh, but yeah, he also transforms into a person, so I think it's that like crossover, they did Transformers and in Star Wars. So he just he's just missing his legs. Tis but a flesh wound, tis but a flesh wound. Uh yeah. Well let's see there's a marking here. Yep, two thousand five. Not really my era for my collection, but uh I guess that's cool or whatever. Starfighter X Wing. Thank you, Anna Banana. Any banana man. You should be doing this unboxing because I obviously don't know anything. Uh, okay, now this is something, let me just check it out real quick, that I'm going to be really excited about because I saw this in the picture, and I don't have it in my collection, I just want to make sure it's real. Alright, Hasbro 8082, Takara 8082. Alright, this is, this is the first thing that caught my eye that maybe I want this lot and I don't have it. It is... A G1 wheel jack. Brand new to my collection. Welcome to the family, wheel jack. Um, yeah, it actually looks in decent shape. The windshield's not broken or anything. Rubber wheels. Uh, this rubber wheel seems to have uh, some kind of dent, but I'm not a snob. When it comes to that, it's totally fine. Even if this thing was busted, I would be like, whoa! Um, well, Nerd Cave, you did say it first in the comments, but I think I said it first on the video, so. 
in the annals of time, I will go down in history. And uh, I'm not going to transform him, but here you can see his face hidden right there. So this I'm totally psyched about. This is great. I've, I've always wanted a wheel jack. Haven't had one up to this point. Definitely die cast. This is a real toy. Not the plastic junk they spit out nowadays. That sounded a little snobby, huh? Yeah. yeah. What do I care? So this is awesome. This I could chuck at somebody and do some damage. Alright, so a lot of misses so far, but the hits have been pretty good. Uh, still got plenty to go, though. Alright, uh... This looks like some kind of... Just gonna kind of put them back into shape here. Kind of curious where they got this lot from. Like it's a, it's like I said, it's a mix of old and new. So here is another transformer. I don't, I mean, it's definitely not G1. If anything, it looks like one of those kitty, kind of like easy kid transformers. Oh yeah, I have no idea who that is. Um, let me see if there's any markings. Yeah, it's actually made by Play School. So this is kind of like those, uh, like kid robot. Thingies. Uh, let's see, 2002 Hasbro. So again, not something I'm really gunning for, but now I have it. Uh, I think what I'm going to be doing is, I actually, uh, I've been hitting up this toy show that's been in town every few months, and I, uh, I've had a really good experience as a buyer. I posted one video recently, I did another recording this past weekend, so that'll come out eventually, but, um, actually just booked a table as a vendor for the very first time. So I think a lot of the stuff that I don't care about in this lot, uh, along with some other duplicates and other things that I've come across when I you know, buy lots for myself, probably end up there. So it'll be cool. Hopefully, I mean, obviously I'm not going to be asking much for stuff like this. might even give it away at some point just to get it out of my, out of my house. Um, but, yeah, this is really cool because you can always use inventory and... Uh, it'll be neat to kind of be on the other side of the table when it comes to buying and selling when you go to toy shows. So I'm trying to figure out if that's something I should try to like live stream or record. Um, it's one thing when you're the buyer and you're... Hold on, my phone's kind of frozen. I don't really know if I'm still going here. Hello? Hello, computer? Or... Hold on, guys. I don't know if this is still going or not. Can you, uh, Mr. Freeze came back. Okay, so I am frozen on the stream here. Voice only. Oh, come on! You're ruining me! Um, let's see what I can try to do here. Nickelodeon. Bummer. I'm going to lose all my viewers. Uh, so I'm streaming on my phone right now. I'm just saying I did. Do, 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 do. What to do, what to do. What are my options here? Share, mute microphone. No, don't want to do any of that. I flip the cam. It doesn't do anything, it just flips the image. Restart, we will come back. Let's see. Well, that's going to be annoying if I have to. Let's see. 